She basically says, if you're making less than fifty thousand dollars a year, you should not be dating. I agree. No, that doesn't that's, even make sense. Yeah, that's that wrong. doesn't make sense. That's what true. if you're a 18 year old? Yeah, let me, you know, I'm trying to work on my language. Let me calm down. If you're an 18 year old kid, why would you be having 50,000 in the bank? You Some days, don't you just, don't you just feel like you'd kill to feel normal? Just feel like yourself again? Uh, I don't know if I feel. I don't know. Normal is. I feel like the normal SpongeBob. Oh, that's how I feel. Like just average. Like norm. Oh, so not like yourself. Not special. No. Well, I'm here you're to tell you, special. you're very special. Yeah. Man, they 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 do too much. For you're me, a bro. bright light. You're special to me. Oh, it was I nice. Appreciate huh? that. Look at us uplifting. He's like the brightest man. light. This dude blinds me. Uh, how you feel normal? Weird. What does normal even feel like though? I don't know. Who's average? I know I've met some average people though. I've, I've met a lot of average people. I've only felt normal sometimes. <laughs> that sucks. It feels like your superpowers are taken away. You're like special people superpowers. Yeah. I guess. I feel pretty, pretty abnormal most days. I guess. In a positive way. We 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 straight. Are la, we? La, la, la. Okay, vo- <laughs> vocals, vocals. La, la. Should we sing more? Should we perform more? Since we are like a music channel. I'll be trying to freestyle and you just don't let me. I don't think freestyling is what you should do. I think you should sing. Oh, you're right. You know what I mean? It's a different... I think that's where your talent really lies. What if we sang and he rapped on top of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I used to be a pretty good singer, actually. I was in my school choir, but I think I lost it just by not doing the vocal. You never you lose it, brother. What? You was really in choir? I was. I was in choir, too. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All through high school. So yeah. do you, like, practice singing? Yeah. yeah. Like, in the crib? like, But, like, you really, like... When like no how do you, home, yeah. How do you get better at singing? You do it. You really think you can improve? I, I always felt like singing was something that's just, like, naturally there or not. I kind of agree, actually. I think it's hard to improve singing. It's very, it's very difficult, and you can only go so far, but, like, you can definitely improve your vocal performance. You know what I'm saying? So. Why don't y'all never sing then? I'm shy. Uh, you hear me sing all the time. I already I said I was shy. Singing. I don't know why I have to repeat myself. That's very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> We're going to do karaoke one day. I, I've never done karaoke in my life. What would this, your song be? <sighs> don't Stop Believing. Shut up. Why? That's not your song. Why? That's not your song. Why can't I... You see how niggas want to put me in a box so bad? They do. What, 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 why can't that be my song? That's not they your song. They do want to put us in a box. Did you definitely... You definitely hate that song. What do you mean by Journey? Yeah. Why? You hate that song. Why? <laughs> what, is, what is this narrative? <laughs> because it's corny. And you hate corny things. But you don't like that song? Not re- I mean, yeah, sure. You know? It's a good song. It's kind of corny, though. Especially doing performing it at karaoke would be like ultra corny and you're not a cornball. It's but really like, a compliment that I'm telling you. But like, like you know all the words. A singer in a smoky room. You know? That was crazy. No, they they want to put, <laughs> <they perfume. laughs> put Miles in a box. You know who else they want to put in a box? Who? Beyonce. And welcome back to the Stereo Booty Podcast. That's Miles' transition, bro. That's for sure. That's a really good transition. But the only thing is we didn't say anything like suspect enough. You got you know what I mean? Like if I was like Don't (laughs) don't say what up y'all? Welcome back to the Stereo Vision Podcast. What's good? Episode ninety one coming at you. You know what I'm saying? Into the nineties, into the nineties. We're gonna get to a hundred soon, man. That's Uh we got can we get balloons at least? Definitely have to pack it with balloons back we're here. We're planning in real time. Every episode we get closer, we're going to like mention another small detail about it. But if you're new here, thank you for subscribing, tapping in. If you came from the reactions, you know what I mean? Make sure to tap into the podcast, all the other content. Yep. We back, though. We Feel back. Like, Saturday morning. Yeah. This uh, this feels like it was a... Was it a good week for y'all? Um, The back end was. The front end was not. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... It was kind of a blur, to be honest. I don't know. Why was your week, I'll say? I just don't even remember it either. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't It doesn't feel like it was a memorable week, but it doesn't feel like it was a particularly strenuous week. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm not like, I wasn't like fiending for the weekend, you know what I mean, for a break, but happy to be back chatting some shit with y'all, you know what I mean? Me too. Was it, a, was it an interesting week in terms of pop culture, you felt? Yeah. I don't know if shit was going on like that. I thought I f- It felt like more shit was going on, but then when I went to go prep for this, there was not that much shit. Of substance that I saw, mm. there was like little things. I mean, honestly, it's just like, like Kanye is a lot of yeah. what is moving shit. But we just have talked about Kanye so much, so I feel that. But I mean, he is definitely continuing to keep the inter- in- internet interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the been heat, a lot. Of the Heat Project wasn't very good. 
Yeah. Niggas love it, though. Do they, who, though? Who, who, I think, I think a lot of people really, love it. It's mixed reviews. And uh, actually, the Drake song that dropped was good. Okay. And the Future song is really did good. Did the Drake song drop on DSPs? I think so. Yeah, I did. Oh, after? They just, they just added it. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah. And then he had like he got like one other song off, but I don't know. I don't like it. I like Breathe. I listened to Breathe today. I, I still like that track, but that's really the only one that does it for me. But you you like it. You don't love it. Breathe? Breathe. I had a moment with Breathe driving to film this today where I'm like, oh, this is dope. Mm -hmm. So I really like that track, but then I tried to do you know other songs on the album. And granted, to mm -hmm. be honest, I only listened to it once that one time with y'all. And then I've clicked on a couple songs, yeah. but it hasn't. I haven't given it a second listen. I yet. went back, and I feel like that's not. <laughs> I don't feel like that's daytime music. Like I don't know if I want to listen to that driving to go get like my morning coffee necessarily. It wasn't daytime, mm -hmm. but it was definitely driving music. Okay, I got a yeah. little more aggressive, started cutting people <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it was fun. It was fun. Um, yeah, that was our foray into the youth's music, I guess. Even though we are the youth, that's why I feel like comfortable saying whatever we want to say about Yeet, even if we don't like necessarily mess with it, because I don't think we are capable of being like old heads. No, definitely. You know what not. I mean? Like we are still like relatively young. Or am I tripping? No, but I, I no, think, we are. I think this shit. I think hip hop is just moving faster, and I feel like we're like things are getting phased out a little bit faster than usual. Yeah, yeah. The life I, cycles of different artists and different projects is shorter. I would agree. I would agree. I think he might be um be a mainstay. I think he might be one of the ones that continues to do it. I, I don't. I think he's like their Cardi. That's what it kind of feels like. Like when we first got Cardi, I think we kind of treated him like this. And like the older people were like, what is this? What's going on? Right. Yeah, Cardi had slaps. But why is, there already, us, us, yes. why is there already a new Cardi? That's what I'm trying to say is like fair, it's, fair. the life cycle is so short. Because Cardi, yeah. Cardi just came out, bro. Yeah. Cardi I know. I know. And out. yeah, what? 2016, 2017. But still, that's not far away. No. he. Yeah. I think people are just trying to fill that gap. Because he takes a while between projects. Mm. You know what I mean? But I feel like whenever he drops, he's definitely still on top. Yeah. I don't know. Someone in a group chat that we're in said, who had the better future collab? Cardi or uh, or Yeet. And so I listened to him back to back. And I was mid trying to listen to the Yeet album again. But I heard Teen X and I was like, I'm going to listen to a whole lot of Red right now. This is just way better music. It's yeah. not an age thing. It's not a anything thing. This is just, this is better. I can agree with that. I, I can agree. definitely agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Beyonce dropped two country songs mm -hmm. this past week. How are y'all feeling about them? I like them a lot. I did okay. too. Okay. okay. I did too. Um, she she kind of like, I like I like when she goes into like the spoken word mm -hmm. a little bit. She does it on both where it's almost a little bit like, like hip hop-y. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just in the vocal delivery, but it is truly a country instrumental, country style guitar. You know, they got the fucking chain drop and the boot <laughs> stomp. You know, like it's real like country shit, but yeah. I, I thought they were really good. And every time we get Beyonce music, it's just always amazing storytelling and songwriting. Too. True, 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 so, true. I think the the one thing about 16 Carriages was that drop is a little jarring at first, but like besides that, I like both songs a lot. Yeah, did she, I wonder if she, it's interesting because I like she's a. I thought she might have wrote it herself because it does feel like personal. Sixteen carriages because I so like I didn't really enjoy Texas Hold'em as much. Mm. Oh really? I, I like I like it, that one better. I don't know. I thought it like I I, I don't for, like really think I'm gonna listen to either that much. Mm. Yeah, I'm not still the biggest country fan. Yeah. but I will say that it it is dope to see her really dive in to the culture and that sound. You know what I mean? Rather than like kind of like do a more R&B take on it, which there's elements of still, but like it feels like she's really trying to actually immerse herself in the genre, which is dope. Yeah. It's, and I, I, I want to take a moment, actually. I want to take a moment here. Yeah. To pop my shit. <laughs> because I came on this podcast a few months ago and I said that, you know, obviously I talked about Morgan Wallen, controversial mm -hmm. figure, but I said that I like country music a lot. Mm -hmm. And y'all ridiculed me. I don't think we ridiculed you for like and country now, music. I, I didn't the biggest, the biggest artist in the world is dropping country music. I don't think I ridiculed you for it. I think I said that they don't like us, <laughs> which is facts, and we're, so. <laughs> we're we're seeing it too. I mean, isn't there a whole story about yeah, like their radio station exactly. that won't play either? So songs? it's still fuck them, regardless, bro. You know but what it's I mean? Our music, though. Yeah, that's the thing. It's our music. Yeah. So I, I that's uh, that's another reason why <laughs> I appreciate this shit because I'm like. Bro, let's just reclaim that shit. Yes, it's dope honest. what she's trying to do. And go. I just think it's really cool because I think this kind of the whole like country music is black music and the like people that run country music want to keep like black people out of country music. All that I think was really brought to the forefront with Old Town Road. Mm -hmm. Remember that was a big controversial thing and then Billy mm -hmm. Ray Cyrus got on the remix. Yes. But it didn't Lil Nas X is such a troll. 
yeah as a person especially at and, that time and that song is is like kind of funny yeah and like the 808s are kicking on got horses you know it's like yeah. spoofish to the point where i don't think it necessarily got across the point that was trying to be made i think it did a lot it was great but like this seems like a really mature way for someone to cross over into a genre and really like i think people that actually like country music will really enjoy this like 100%. this sounds like the like the the top tier of that genre to me you know 100% right. and she has the voice to do it you yeah. can you can dismiss old town road you can't dismiss this mm -hmm. 100% if if radio, if country stations don't play this that's racist yeah like without a without a doubt 100% that is racist 100% you know and, what i mean and i think it'll do the job of like what you're saying educating people who will be fans of the genre who may not have been exposed to it like if you're a fan of beyonce you're gonna listen to this you know what i mean so it might make more fans of country music look into the history you know what i mean diversify the genre as a whole so a lot of people I mess with the move yeah a lot of people don't touch country and that's changing now but a lot of people like the big thing i've heard so much about people that are big music fans they'll be like oh i, I listen to everything except for country and metal mm -hmm. you know what i mean those are the things they don't touch because they get problematic they, they're like too you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think people should touch them. I think country music is having a big moment right now and like country like subgenres, like indie like folk and like singer songwriter, western, that kind of stuff is having a big moment and some of it's really good. And I think if we can remove like this negative stigma from it which Beyoncé is obviously helping, I think a lot of people would find music they enjoyed. I agree. I just don't I'm now I'm speaking personal. Yeah, yeah. Like completely personal. The problem with me with country has never been sonically necessarily like how it sounds. You know what I mean? Like it's a little simplistic and the voices get a little repetitive to me sometimes. But like I'm not, it's not like jarring music to the ear for me. I just don't necessarily care for the stories that are being told. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? I don't feel like I can't necessarily relate to a lot of it. You know what I mean? Especially when it gets more regional. The ones where they talk about heartbreak, those are a little bit more eloquent. You know what I'm saying? Like... And it, there is some elements of, like, <laughs> it's a different person's R&B. Like, I think what I get from R&B, a lot of people get from country music, probably. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I'm I'm going to keep listening to it, and I'm excited for the album. If she does it for a whole project, I'm definitely going to tap in. And hopefully it does change my mind, because 16 Carriages, it, it dragged a little bit for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It felt a little bit long. I kind of lost interest. It did get a little samey to me. Like, you kind of expected, like, this is what the chorus is going to come in now. It's, I hear the lead up. But it did. It was it was more interesting than Texas Hold'em to me. So I'm growing in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I just think that first, it's I was driving over here, and I was like, man, isn't it ironic that Beyonce will probably win best album for this country album she's about to put out first? That, uh, that, that was my off. first thought. That would piss me off. It's probably going to happen. That'll piss me off. Second <sighs> was to, I just feel like this is what's going to happen now is the people are seeing country music topping the charts and kind of like we had a little dance wave, you know, the last past two years, like we're going to have a little country wave, I feel like. I agree with you 100%. The yeah. top artists in the game are going to, you know, take a step into the genre and experiment in it and we're going to get some interesting music. Drake sure. had Morgan Wallen in the You Broke My Heart video. Yeah. Like, this is, he's, he's, they're, they're definitely going to make music. But I would sure. be, would you not be a little mad at that? No, I, w I would be mad. Beyonce gets blonde hair, puts on a cowgirl hat, you know what I mean? And is like doing the country and that's what, it's like, damn, bro. Like, that would, that would be like almost like, so counterintuitive to everything that like I feel like she's represented, you know what I mean? Like that's what it does after she drops like the dance album that's so heavily inspired by the LGBTQ community. Like she does all that and gets like ignored and then that would piss me off. But that's <laughs> that's I mean, that's just Drake though. He goes into every single genre and culture and finds the person or somebody that he feels that he can highlight that will make him look better and he just turns it up. That's no, no, I, I, yeah, the Morgan Wallen thing's fine. I'm talking about like, like Beyonce. If Beyonce gets the credit off this, I'm just, I'm just gonna be sick. But yeah, I think Drake is very good at, you know, he, he picks the little people, and he's, he knows, he sees the waves coming, right? You know, <laughs> yeah, man. There's, there's a whole conversation that could be had. I know we got other topics though. Yeah, it's, it's interesting though. We'll see it. Um, who else dropped? Who else dropped? Uh, Q, Schoolboy Q. Oh yeah, first single off his shit. Song is so good. Very very excited for that project. You heard me. I, I've been bumping Schoolboy Q a lot more. I told you he's one of those artists that I love, but I, I forget about sometimes till it's time to really tee up or like I stumble across a song, you know. But uh, the first, it was called Blue Lips, right? Oh, no no no, that's the album. Yeah yeah, Blue this Lips is, is called, the project. Uh, shit, it was something funny. 
<laughs> it's you like ye- yeah yearn yearn 101 yearn um yearn? q was rapping his ass off oh my god like crazy <laughs> like shit from all the snippets he sounds like he's gonna be rapping crazy it sounds like he's gonna be getting really experimental with the production especially for him yeah. i don't know if it's gonna be i don't think you could ever pigeonhole q into the classic west coast rap lane I don't think that's ever been like the sound. He obviously has West Coast influence on certain songs, but he really has kept it all over the place. So I'm excited for him to really just expand his career, give us another another piece of music. I love um, scaring the hoes music with the potential <laughs> for like a, a like a hoe friendly song. 100. percent You know what I mean? That, that is schoolboy Q. Like he he'll scare the hoes most of the album. You know what I mean? <laughs> he'll give him but, one though. But he could have Man of the Year. <laughs> he'll give. He could one. he could do Collard Green or even Studio. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's you know, like that. you yeah. know, like he he can do that, so it's a little bit more like, you know, like girlfriend rolls your eyes when you put schoolboy Q on. You know what I mean? It's not full like West Side Gun, yeah. Boldy James, yeah. but like it gives me everything I like about them yeah. as well. And that you know? music video was tremendous. Yeah, I really felt like they did a good yeah. job on it. Yeah. yeah, they stepped that shit up. Yeah, you could tell when TDE they they do they know how to work their acts that are working. You know what I mean? I think they were catching shade. Um. Kendrick left. They weren't really breaking artists. Um, there was the reason thing on the podcast that I think left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. I think then Sids had dropped. Things started. They were like, we're still here. We still do this. And mm-hmm. then obviously this year, it looks like they're going to really focus on the rest of their acts. And I, I think it's going to be a big year for TV. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Devin Malik is one of the newer people that I think has been associated with him. That's on. He Was he on the song or is he on the album? I'm not from. I don't know. Who I think that? he did because he's also his Q has been dropping like snippets yeah. on like his IG, and I think one of them was shouting out Malik. But I just Q's whole rollout has been great. So shout out him. Definitely excited for Blue Lips March first. Also March first, just someone that I think is we're all as a fan on the podcast. Bash for the World drops March first. That's gonna be fire. Oh God. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, he's dropping a project. Um, oh, mad interesting. Mm-hmm. Mad interesting. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Glorilla. Came back, got LeBron singing her song is in the gym a, and shit. Is this a comeback? Bro? At the Laker, I think yes. I think yes, hundred. Is it streaming? I think she. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. You're right. You're right. Because it could uh, everything that I'm seeing could be paid for. I've seen her a lot more, but is it streaming? Also, too, the LeBron thing is dope. Oh, don't get me wrong, but do we like the song? I think it's cool. Are you I, listening I, to that? Song? I like the song. So I you haven't. Song. I, I got to be honest. I haven't played the song. Yeah. But I did see the LeBron snippet. And I was like, oh shit, this hard. I really nah, like the dope. song. It's I like the music her. video. I think she's she's doing her shit. And like, even if it's not, because I feel you, streaming is what matters. And all the looks and all the internet buzz that can all be completely manufactured on a back end, not real fans. It's dope to see her at least musically get back after hearing some bullshit like cha cha cha. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? That was just not it. And it was dangerous for her career. Because mm-hmm. I think there's been a lot of girls who have kind of came up in the past year. I think that she was someone who was really, really hot. And then it kind of fizzled out quickly. So I want her to just be able to at least keep dropping hot music. And I think people will come around regardless. And like, you know, I think it's just we're getting back into that time with the gangster. The women is the gangsters now. Mm-hmm. Her, Anisia, like they're they're chatting. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. like that. They're not playing. Obviously, Sexy Red is like kind of the face of that right now but the spot that sexy red is in i think glorilla had it for a second last year when she dropped like that tomorrow too shit mm-hmm. it was it felt like she had a moment and then i think lotto just also happened to have it kind of simultaneously and she kind of like overtook the southern way for a second but it's cool to cool to see her coming back i think yeah i think people are, will be more ready to wrap their arms around glorilla than sexy red mm-hmm. you yeah. know especially like men i've heard a lot of men shit on sexy red kind of like without real reason. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I hear so much sexy red. It, it's coming back around. Like I think at first people were like, first it was the shock. Then it was like, oh, this is actually kind of funny. But now people are like, we don't like the image that's being portrayed. Whether that's right or wrong, whatever. But I think Glow really is somebody that's a little bit more like to the center that people can wrap their arms around. Yeah, for sure. I definitely. want this comeback. Yeah. Definitely. Um, definitely. Did you guys hear the new Gunna song? Yeah, I the did. one that you, I saw the freestyle version of it. I like that better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, this the snippet, the freestyle snippet was dope. Uh, I liked. I, I think that album art just threw me off. To be the honest. album yeah. art is so funny. <laughs> the wolf bro. or the like, dog? What is that? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't Scary. like that. At all. I could have made that in Canva in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, the music video was cool though. Um, he was running in it. That was cool in the snow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I gotta listen again. To be honest, I thought it was a good Gunna song. I wasn't like in love with it. I agree. I didn't think, I honestly didn't, 
Cause I the snippet came out in the morning and then it was like announced the song or was the song announced? I think the dance? snippet came out the day before and then oh wait no no you're right you I know think the snippet came out then he announced the song then it came out yeah because I wasn't really like when I heard it, I was like this is like this is dope but this is just like a nothing thing I didn't think it was gonna be a whole a whole song I wonder if that means he's gonna drop like a deluxe or they're gearing up for a new project I wonder what that means I hope not a deluxe this feels like a Lucy to me uh, yeah I, I don't I don't think I need a deluxe right now I think he did what he had to do with that project let it let it be what it is you know what I'm saying yeah, agreed. I, I would I, say though this is a, a like if he did do a deluxe I wouldn't be mad yeah I'm, okay and this is kind of the time frame that he did with um DS forever DS forever and one I remember it was like a year Oh, maybe one was shorter, but I do feel like he normally gives an ample amount of time before doing a deluxe. Because like. DS Forever had P Power. Oh, and that came out pretty directly right after. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I think it was one that he waited a long time to yes. drop yeah. Fifty for Lunch. He definitely and, did. He yeah. definitely did. And then he's teased Fifty for Lunch, and uh, yeah, oh, that shit hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard. Shout out Gunna. I mean, if we're in that lane. My nigga Thug might be cooked, bro. Yo, are you talking about the YSL lawyer? Yo, what's good with this? This lady's right. crazy. I, I want to come on here and, and correct some misinformation that I've seen <laughs> floating around, bro. Good. That's definitely not Thug's lawyer. It is funny, though, because she's somebody's lawyer, somebody attorney. <laughs> She's looking crazy on IG, bro. Wow. That's confirmed. So why do people think that that's Young Thug's lawyer? I think it's just funnier to say it is. You know what I'm saying? But I think, that, I think I, niggas are getting people worried for nah, no reason. but I think she's actually like involved in the trial and, and she's like an actual attorney that's involved with the trial and represented a client of the trial. If you haven't seen it, Young Thug got this, got to be like a 40-year-old white woman, bust down Cartier, like like watch, <laughs> rapping future lyrics in her car. Like just, <laughs> she, she, had, she did a money spread on the ground that spelled out broke. I, he, hey, <laughs> she she really outside with somebody, and uh, she gets arrested. So allegedly, I was, I'm glad I say cleared that up beforehand. But allegedly, that's supposed to be Young Thug's lawyer, and she just got arrested um, for gang related activities. Atlanta's a <laughs> wild place. I think the more and more I like like hear about people who really like live in Atlanta and all that goes on, I feel like the TV show might have been accurate. <laughs> I gotta go spend some time. Down this there. is not a real place, bro. Have you have you guys ever been? Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> nah. Atlanta, the TV show got some accurate portrayal. But I'm saying like that's what I'm saying because like I've like I've never been to Atlanta for like an extended period of time. No, nah, it's a like I gotta place. spend like two weeks there and like really just see like the mundane shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know because I I also feel like it's a funny place, but it's also just country too to me. That's where yeah I'm yeah. like like my family is like backwoods Georgia. Okay, so like it gets like that's the side like the little bit of countryside like them yeah. niggas be like doing all the fishing and shit. And you can see a couple farms, a couple Confederate flags too. Once you get too far out the city, which is bad it's a sus place very bad to stay in Atlanta <laughs> but then you know you might get shot on the wrong street it's a it's a wild place I kind of like the um the mix of country and like city culture mm -hmm. the one time I was in the south it was New Orleans and that was one of my biggest takeaways is I loved that it felt like kind of home because it was like country and there was a lot of people mm -hmm. in agriculture or you know fishing like all that but still it was so like culture rich and it showed it really was something that you preach is that country is culture there is like really beautiful culture within that and it's something that i had kind of you know blocked out and like moved away from ever since moving from my home but it's something that kind of really reminded me of that point yeah for sure damn i miss i miss home bro Shout out to VA, Agriculture. Man. Nigga wants to plant some shit or something, bro. I love planting shit. You, know what I'm you see my basil? In the, for in the, sure. You see how that shit be popping? <laughs> basil, nigga. What? Like, I love the... I, I guess. You really like the country? Like, I love the city, bro. I can't do... I'm not gonna... You're capping. You're capping. No, this I, is I a like, city, nigga. This is such yeah, a city. Yeah, for you sure. can't go to brunch in a country, bro. Like, I believe you got some little... You got some country in you. I do. I, I believe that. I believe that. This nigga... <laughs> I just love the balance. Like, I love living, like, right outside the city where you could do either one. But what you doing in the country, I'll say? Man, <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not an outdoor person. I just That's like what I'm country, saying, bro. I like the country lifestyle, bro. You like the aesthetic, bro. I like the aesthetic. Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> um... I guess I want to talk. Something I want to actually get your opinion on. Very, very. Um, I don't know if it's a serious thing or not, bro. These old women are doing some wild, wild things. So I guess the latest case of this, these these cougars out in these streets, is Amber Rose linked up with Texans rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud after mm -hmm. the celebrity 
MLB game. All right. Well, this this also sounds like some misinformation because <laughs> I, I saw CJ and Amber both go on social media and say we had never met prior to this. You know, my Amber said my ride bailed on me. And he took her home. And he was kind enough to drive me back to the hotel like a gentleman and drop uh, me off. That's the story they're pushing, and I believe it. Okay. Hey. What do you, um, you think she's prying? What, how, is CJ 21 yet? 22. Are, you think she, you think she's prying on him? Yeah, I think it's crazy because bro, Jalen Green just got this girl, uh, Drea, Drea Michelle or something like this famous like video vixen, like like baddie or whatever. Video vixen, you know whatever. She, yeah, she's, cause she's <laughs> old because she's old, bro. What this is, woman's like forty. What is vixen? I only know vixen is the fucking. You never heard that? Nah, term? Video, video vixen is like you know just like mean? good looking women that uh, star in music videos. That's a thing. You know, it used okay. to be because the music videos used to be. A thing. They're like models, basically. I'm yeah, just not familiar yeah. with the term outside of porn. What? <laughs> nah. Well, to be honest, just, <laughs> this girl is just like someone who I think is known for being an attractive lady. You know, has dated a lot of famous people. She's pregnant allegedly by Jalen Green. They're oh. confirmed dating. He's only twenty two too, right? Yeah, yeah. like twenty three. And it's like you know, but that nigga's about to sign a hundred thirty million dollar contract, mm. and she might be not be having the same motion she was having before. Mm. I don't know. Like I've just seen a lot of conversation around these older women trapping men, and I want to see how y'all feel about it. Is it? Do you let them have their fun? You know what I mean? Because these dudes probably grew up like being like, oh, these girls is like crazy. You know what I mean? And now I can actually like attain that. You know what I mean? How do you, or do you feel like they're kind of just preying on stupid kids? I mean, when you're young and you got money, you got to stay away from that. To me, to me, I'm like, pussy can't be that good. <laughs> it can't be that much. It, it, it can't be that much better. And you look crazy doing it. You look like you're getting taken advantage of. It's yeah. bad for the optics. It's bad for PR. And it's probably <laughs> it's probably bad for your pockets, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just staying away in general, bro. I mean, I feel like when you're that young and you're just starting your career, too, like, you should be focusing on other things for real. No, nah, but, like, okay, so, like... Obviously, it's a distraction. 40-year-old like, woman walks up to you. Uh, like, not saying... It's right like, now. Like, like, attractive. Like, attractive. Right now. You know what I'm Milk saying? Milk type. And it's like, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> That's a crazy TV show. That's a crazy TV show. Wow. But, like, she's like, you know what I mean? Say you got money, you got a bag, and she's like, oh, like, you eating here? You should eat right here. You know what I mean? What? Like, she's, like, showing you different places. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, like upgrading like your it? life. You know what I mean? Like, upgrade. Like, she's oh, being a more she's, mature she's presence. Like a tour guide. You know what I mean? Like, a more mature <laughs> presence. Are you doing that? Life. Are you doing that? What What do you mean? Like, are you do, do you have to? That? Are you spending you money? To, like, are you she, dating this woman who could like boss your life up? I thought she was just giving me suggestions for me to go. By just myself. take her Yelp there. No, you take her there. You go, you, oh, nigga. Because uh, think about this, right? Like a girl your age ain't gonna know the spots. Right. You know what I mean? Ain't gonna know the places to go. She might like be not like that fashionable or whatever. You know what I mean? Not like know all the luxury brands and things like that. Might not have good uh good decorum. You know what I'm saying? This girl is is elevating you. Taking you into that boss life, and now you a rich man. You know what I mean. You the man of the house now. You think you 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 big dog? Are you doing this? I think personally, my image is very important to me, so I probably <laughs> wouldn't do it to be honest. But I take the suggestion for sure. <laughs> I know you want me to play into it, but that's I think not, I would. I, 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 really I think I would say my. I think that's why. Milk. That's honestly why I'm, why I'm asking. Because if you're just like photographed in public with a random person, like no, nah, but she's attractive. Woman. She's very attractive. She's like, like super not, bad. Yeah, like that's not. That's it's not so sexy. the problem with it. Oh, they're bad? Yes, super that's, that's bad. what I'm saying. Like, all of this being, like, super attractive, but 40. Confirm 40. I mean, that's good for my image, though. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm confused why you say this bad for you, so you do it. But that's different than Amber Rose pulling up on you. Because I mean, there's a difference between, like, a, 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 a bad, a bad like, a, like, a, like, a good-looking 40-year-old and, like, a good-looking, like, known cougar like famous 40 year old you know what i mean like i don't think she had the cougar image amber rose maybe not maybe not full cougar image but like <laughs> i mean it's i'm just saying it's different between people that are known in the industry and maybe yeah. aren't surrounded by the best like shit for the mm. image you know what i mean yeah could you have a celebrity girlfriend yeah really <laughs> definitely if you weren't a celebrity you could do it if i was me right now i could have a celebrity girlfriend and I don't think I'm a celebrity at all. That's so. fair. That's fair. So I, mean, I, I welcome it with open arms. <gasps> did you see what happened with the Hot Wings guy? The Hot Wings oh, guy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. What happened with him? That's a crazier situation. All right. What What about That's that story is actually true, though? Situation. Did he actually break up with... If you don't know, it sounds like Sean Evans, yeah. the, the host of Hot Ones, was dating um, a well-known adult film star. Good. I'm so sorry. I forgot her name. 
uh, <laughs> well known, but I don't. Know well known name. adult film star, but um, it, it, the relationship got leaked. Adam Twenty Two sent a tweet out that was like, "Good shit, bro. That pussy fire." Crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. <laughs> insane, and bro. then Sean broke up with uh, said, said adult, said adult star, star <laughs> because the relationship was too public. That's really bad press. I'm not gonna lie. Like Adam Twenty Two quote tweeting you and just. Uh, First of all, that, is crazy. that was just like the Valentine's Day reveal on the highest degree. Yeah, on Valentine's yeah. Day too. Highest highest Valentine's day because day. you know, like that's the whole theme behind like Valentine's Day. It's like all these like girls or guys that you didn't know was in relationships, you pop out on Valentine's Day. Right. That's crazy because you know, like, I, I he had to be dating her before. Bro, he's stupid as fuck. You think he was actually dating her? <laughs> he had to be. He had to be. He had to. And be he's stupid be, as oh. fuck because like I have no problem with someone dating an adult <laughs> film star. That's fine. <laughs> but like know what you're getting yourself into yeah for sure. be aware of what's you're gonna have the adam 22s of the world that's gonna be like oh yeah that shit was great you know what i mean yeah. like there's probably footage nah, but I, that you're gonna get sent you know what i mean like know what yeah. you're getting yourself into if you're gonna do that and don't because now you look like like a pussy that's you look, why you i'm look, saying you look crazy i don't think that nigga wanted to reveal and then he had to do it on valentine's yeah, day yeah I think, I think that nigga probably wanted to keep it on in the tuck that was not what he wanted to be publicized in it wait did he did he pop out I, he didn't pop out i don't think he popped out he got or doxxed i think oh uh, man but i think <laughs> i don't think i do i think there's a problem with not being okay with your relationship going public yeah i think it's fine if you don't do everything you can you try to keep it private that's fine but if like other people knowing you're with this person is a make or break thing this shit's already broke it's you done. know what i mean like it's already cooked yeah, I agree to an extent. I agree to an extent. I think you should definitely like. I, I think it's weird to like hide your partner, but then like I can only the only reason I could see it is if you're like that high level of a celebrity, and you're like maybe you're like significant other is a low key person, and they don't want to have a spot blown up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a thing. I could see that being one situation where you wouldn't want to do it. But if it's another celebrity, there's no reason not to not to pop out. Or if you're a regular person, both of y'all. Someone was saying we need a, a Kanye Hot Ones episode now. Oh, that'd be insane. <laughs> that'd be insane. <laughs> uh, Kanye could definitely not. He does not give the vibes of someone who can handle Hot Wings. I no. Mean, no I don't think so. <laughs> at, at all. That nigga would be crying. Can we get, can we get Adam 22 on Hot Ones? No. Ooh, ooh, that would be insane. Ooh, no, 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 no. Crazy. Um, I mean, I saw a topic on here that kind of is in line with everything we're talking about what i'm seeing a lot of like like this conversation to me really revolves a lot about <laughs> whether you want your partner to elevate you if you want to reach for something god. look at the transition <laughs> you know, god if, go. if you really want to like reach for something and have someone pull you up <laughs> or if you want to pull someone else up <laughs> or if you want to just grow together with someone you know what i'm saying okay. because because there was obviously the clip of the ladies on a safe place pod you pour, shout out poor minds yeah and poor it was minds. there was, so it was a girl that was on her on on poor minds pod okay that was the yeah. clip yes. okay yeah, i wasn't yeah, i wasn't yeah. super familiar yeah um but you you can take it because it sounds like you know a little more about the situation yeah, yeah yeah so poor minds if you don't know a podcast out of atlanta two women i think in their early 30s talk about dating life all the different stuff they did a collab with a safe place but a clip from their podcast from a week before that is going viral. They had a guest on. I'm not super sure what, what who she is as a person. She'd be giving dating relationship advice on Instagram, one of them. She basically says, if you're making less than $50,000 a year, you should not be dating. I, I agree. Nigga, no, that doesn't that's, even make sense. Yeah, that's that wrong. doesn't make sense. That's what true. if you're a fucking 18 year old? Yeah, let me, you know, I'm trying to work on my language. Let me calm down. If you're an 18 year old kid, why would you be having fifty thousand in a bank? You I don't date. know what the. Uh, can we pull up the clip? I'd like to watch it. I first. guess she's talking about as a grown man, as a grown adult, you shouldn't be. I'd like the full context here, please. I don't have it. <laughs> Less than. Let me make an educated decision, like y'all should be doing. Fifty thousand. Watch, read, study, be dating. Understand the topic. Wow, look at that. Let's see. I don't want to hear her comment though. not be the best for everyone but for business owners take a look at this video well if you're making fifty thousand dollars don't date oh i'm i'm just being for real you're not ready to date again i'm with you when you're, you're not right. ready to date. you're not ready to date because courtship costs okay everything costs and she doesn't have the expectation and i'm gonna tell you this right now enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're gonna want to run because she doesn't stretch you she doesn't make you the man that you need to be 
I don't want to hear this nigga. I don't want to hear this nigga. I think this nigga's going to say some bullshit. <laughs> 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 he, he was winding up. <laughs> Wait, I got to hear what he said. Oh, God. Oh, man. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's one of them. He, he agreed with me. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't want to be on the same page as this man. <laughs> <laughs> this your bros? No, I mean, look. I Obviously, what she's saying is a little ridiculous. I just feel like dating does cost money. So, I'm not saying there's a number, but I'm saying you got to be financially ready for... Uh, I don't want to call it a burden because it's not a burden, but you got to be financially ready for it. Well, okay. From uh, Dating is a relationship. Mm-hmm. And to, to, to maintain a relationship, you, you have to do things. And so, like, this, th- if we're using this logic, then if you don't have $50,000, you shouldn't have friends either. Because friendship costs to go do shit with your friends, to go enjoy time with your friends and build a relationship and build a bond. Obviously, by this knowledge, I see you the need angle money. You're taking it from. I, I see the angle you're taking it from. I, I agree with you that this is just a, just a, it, not the right take. But. It's just not. It's not the right take or worded right. But you could also just sit in the house with your guys and play two K. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You and gotta, and, you and, and I, I firmly believe that if you can't just sit in the house with your girl and have a good time and develop your relationship and be the man that you need to be, then I don't think it's right. I think if your girl needs you to be buying her shit and taking you out and doing all that shit, then like it's transactional. Bro, but I can't. I agree the, with I that. I can't sit in the house. With a girl for a month straight, but there's okay. Nothing. There's a balance of this. You could, you should, yes, a hundred percent, be able to sit and do nothing with whoever you call your friend, your girl, whatever. Just chat, mm-hmm. talk shit. You can't do that all the time. But going out doesn't always equate money spent. You know what I mean? Like if you want to take your girl out, you know what I mean. Niggas got to eat. Everyone has to eat. You go on a picnic. That's free. Yep. You know what I mean? But that's going out. You know, mm-hmm. you could take your girl on a hike. You know what I mean? You could do cheaper type excursions. You know what I mean? You don't have to. You could take her out to eat even if it's not the fanciest place. You know what I mean? You're still eating together. There's little things you could do to adjust to like maintain the relationship. Like you could. I, I'm just basically saying like you could. You have to be working for something. I think that that's what everyone is trying to get across. You know what I mean? If you're in this position where you have less than $50,000, that's fine. And you can maneuver around it. That You just shouldn't be satisfied staying at that position forever. True. That's I think that's the big takeaway that maybe everyone should have. But Yeah, I think the $50,000 thing. Like, the more I think about it, like, the way it's phrased is nasty. <laughs> but the, the way I see it, and I think the reason people are probably mad at this is because I feel like there is, like, a manosphere idea that women like want this you got to buy this you got to take me there you got to do all but is this. that man spirit that, that's coming from women no no but i'm saying that feeds into like that culture is going to come and attack her off that idea but from what i'm from where i'm coming from it's more just like yeah why wouldn't you want to just like focus on yourself until you're ready to date that's more what i'm thinking of yeah i agree with you but it doesn't have to do it's not necessarily just money for me it's more like she just saying like Get your shit together and then go yes, out. yes. That's more what I. Yes. Where I'm you can't from. take it because taking it literally, that's ignorant. Like yeah. just taking it literally, <laughs> like you can't. It just doesn't make any sense. You can't put a price on like what what someone yeah. should be doing and like if they can find happiness or not. But from a overall takeaway standpoint, yes, I I do agree. I feel with what you're saying. You know what I mean? You have to be improving. And if you're like so focused on yourself or like don't have time for other people, like you're not going to be a good partner. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean I agree because it's like. You have to, it has to be a good fit when you start with someone. So you need to be happy with the person you are already. Yes. Because if not, you're going to outgrow them. But I think that's definitely more headspace. Yeah. I think it's definitely more mentality than money. You know, because also like I would rather start a long lasting relationship with somebody before I have money. I agree 100%. Personally, because I agree like, 100%. If, like if we start splitting checks and going on picnic dates, I know you're really in it because it's real Mm -hmm. you know if we start dating and i'm taking you to all these nice places and buying you shit Mm -hmm. you know what i mean do you love me or do you love the bag Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and so like to have to 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 come up with somebody and be with them before you got the money and then once you have the money buy them everything give them give them the whole world you know what i mean because then you know they love you for you and you you now are in a place where you can you know comfortably spoil them as long as being in this relationship before you have the money doesn't keep you from it. And I think that the toxicity comes from people not understanding that you could be on both sides. And that not not that a person, but like there are people on both sides. Mm-hmm. Like I think from like we're obviously approaching this from a man perspective, right? So looking at women as a whole, 
you can't say all women just want men with money. Yeah. There are some women that want men with money. Yeah. There are some women that will come up with you. You know what I mean? The same way there's some women who want a more traditional thing. You know what I mean? Guy pays for everything. Where there's some women that are cool with. We're going to split this. You know what I mean? And aren't going to think twice about it. You know, you can't just put an entire group of people into one box. You know what I mean? You got to know what type of girl you need. What type of situation you want to be in and then adjust to that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's facts. Because I'm not the shit. I'm not. <laughs> I don't. I'm not like flying nobody out nowhere. Like you know, I would love to be like, yo, let's travel and like buy you a plane ticket. I can't do that right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's some dudes that got it like that. No, you're right. I would just say, you know, obviously it takes a little more caution. Like, be cautious if you're if you evaluate and you say, okay, I'm fine with a girl that needs somebody to provide for her whole life and needs somebody that's gonna buy her things. Like, that's fine if if you're ready to buy her things exactly. and you want someone like that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. But yeah. just. Move with caution. Yeah. Because if that money runs out, I don't know what's gonna happen to you. Make sure you're make sure you're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like make sure you got the money. I literally, don't know. Literally. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to express myself in the right way. Here. What you mean? You gotta say it. I mean, it's not about saying it, bro. It's like I, I think I do equate like money and like income and stuff like that in career to having your shit together in a way. Yeah. Which is why I don't necessarily disagree with what she's saying. But I I feel like I'm hearing something different than like the literal like 50k. But that's not wrong either. I guess I think that this is once again just a mindset thing. You know what I mean? But also like I, this kind of ties into um, another thing that people have been talking about, like Desi Banks. You know what I mean? The internet comedian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This nigga was like, my girl kicked me out the crib when I was building up my comedy dream. You know what I mean? She's like, you you ain't making no money. <laughs> like you know what I mean? You not you got to go get a job or something. And she she kicked him out the crib. And like and they stayed together? No. Oh. No, she broke up with him and he like but he talked about this on Shannon Sharp's podcast and he's like, you know, like she wasn't down for me. She like that hurt me. But like a lot of people are like <laughs> you should probably have a part-time job at least while you're trying to work towards this dream, you know what I mean? Like, he he only doesn't look crazy because it worked. But there's probably so many people in the same situation that like it doesn't work. But it's it's like, it's like have you guys seen Abbott Elementary? Yeah, yeah you know uh, yeah, the exactly. main girl's boyfriend, yeah, that Zach Fox plays. Yeah, yeah. It's like you can't be that. Like I'm not over here advocating for blindly following your dreams. Like, like I I don't make the most money in the world in my relationship, but I make money. I make enough to live off of. You know what and I mean? And you're building and, something. And I'm working. You know, so it's it's different than exactly. you know being fully incomeless, ambitionless. Like that's different. I think that's and I think that that's where we can all connect across. Yeah. Because it's not that your career and like money has to be right at that moment to date. You just have to have some sort of ambition. Yeah. You have to be having a goal or something that you want to work towards. And it's fine if the money's not there yet, the career status isn't there yet. But you have to have aspirations of at least improving your current situation. No one's saying you gotta aspire to be the CEO. You know what I mean? That's not everyone's goal or whatever. But you should aspire to make enough money, have enough career to get a living space you know what i mean if you want to have a family do the things that you want to actually do you in a responsible way yeah aspirations and also a realistic contingency plan yeah then you're allowed to i think dream yeah, chase i know? like that realistic that's a good word contingency you gotta have a contingency plan <laughs> <laughs> nah 50k though that's yeah that's money that's a nasty quote that's a nasty <laughs> quote that's a nasty quote but she knew what she was doing you know what yeah, i mean yeah, she yeah. knew how she knew how people would feel Yo, about get that your, get your bag bro um okay we could do we could do a couple of little quick headed things before we get out of here rich baby daddy video fire hilarious one of the best <laughs> things drake has done in a long time uh they're 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 funny drake does not take anything seriously that's like a most random friendship that i would have never expected like he really fucks with sexy right? i mean is it more than a friendship oh god uh, is that no. is that drake's baby no <laughs> stop that <laughs> would be so funny i mean why why else is he there at the birth you know what i mean i don't think that was why else is he birth. why else <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt that he was there you don't think I think I think she really gives birth on uh, during a Drake music video. I that mean, would shit, be and, and the song's name "Rich Baby Daddy" and Drake wrapped his arms around her early. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody that rap has been getting uh, a lot of people in trouble. That hug. Yeah, right. <laughs> somebody did say on Twitter, they're like, "For all the dogs, is much funnier if you see it as a love story to Sexy Red." <laughs> I hate it. I oh, it. now I need to re-listen to the album. I, see, yeah. I feel like I'll say hugs all women, like how Drake and Usher like be how? hugging women. What are you talking about? From behind. <laughs> Wait, when, when, when did Drake do that? Huh? That's He's talking he about the sexy red hug. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was nasty. No, I don't. I don't do that. That that hug is weird, bro. What What are you talking the about? The behind hug. <laughs> That's weird, bro. I don't mean doing all you that. You don't do that. My bad. My oh, say hug me. Hug me from behind one time. Hey, what? Yo. What? <laughs> what, bro? Um, another hilarious was. thing was uh, Kai Sinat um, playing in the Celebrity All-Star Game. You think he was upset? 
Oh, he, I think that man was real life. I was saying, bro, because niggas forget that this is a 20 something year old kid, bro, yeah. who has never played competitive basketball in his life. Like, this is his basketball game. Like, he was like, yo, like, I'm really excited to play. Yeah. Give me my moment. I just worked really hard. Let me hold a rock. And you got Michael Parson, big football has putting up. He had 37 points, bro. I didn't actually watch the game or the clips. Was Kai just not getting the ball? He was not getting the ball. He's just uh, jumping up and down in the back, like, wide open, like, pass me the ball, pass me the ball. Michael Parson, pull up three, air ball. No, like, just. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. I'd no. be pissed too. And got then, four points. Nah, 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 nah. I got it. There's, there's some funny shit, bro. There's I'd, I'd be shit. mad too. I can't lie to you, bro. Imagine you work out with Lethal Shooter for a week, bro, just to get your shot up, bro. And this nigga don't. You don't even get the opportunity. But why are you only working out with him for a week? You know what I mean? Because you're not serious, him. bro. Look at how this nigga was. This, they said this nigga was pissed, bro. Oh, <laughs> they said this nigga was sick. <laughs> Look, no, I gotta see the picture of him looking at Michael while he's holding the MVP award, bro. Who is this dude? I saw I saw people talking about that dude. Tristan though. Jass, right? He's one of them YouTube hoopers, right? Yeah. So he walks up to Kelsey Plum and is like, oh, like, shout out to you or whatever, right? And she goes, yo, pass the ball. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. And then he comes on Twitter today and is like, yo, I got more assists yesterday than you average in your entire career. Was, like, he, was he wrong? Yeah, like... He's hating on a WNBA player, and he's a YouTube hooper. Like, you just look silly. And like, if I mean, gonna, it does sound like she started it. And if you're going to chat shit, though, say it in front of her face. She that like I mean, she, but he probably didn't have the numbers to back it up yet. He, it was it was at halftime, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not terribly mad at that. If somebody tells me to pass the ball and I end the game with more assists than they average, yeah, shoot back. This is the picture that got me. This is the you see how he's looking at Mike, bro. <laughs> Pissed, bro. <laughs> who, who is that dude in the background? And you're taking Get out of here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm cutting this the out, Ruffles I guess. All-Star Celebrity Game MVP, Micah Parsons, everyone. <laughs> he was sick. He ain't Podcast fuck with that nigga, bro. <laughs> that was nice. Is that CJ Stroud? Yeah. Was he in the All-Star Game and the fucking softball? Yeah. Yeah. Well, He's an insane athlete, bro. That nigga... Uh, you saw it, bro. That nigga is really good at basketball. He was launching moonshots at the fucking Travis Scott charity, yeah. charity softball game. Uh, no, he's... Tough, bro. Yeah, he's a beast. Very, very tough at basketball. Um, yeah, I think that that's everything. The last thing. Oh, oh no, no. I, the last thing I want to say just made me laugh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I do want to say a quick shout out to all our new subscribers, man. Thank you so much. Yo, our Kanye West reaction is one of our biggest videos now. It's tied for the Flag. Doja Cat one. She looked yep. crazy, bro. It's crazy. Zendaya looked crazy. Mm. Oh, Zendaya looked amazing. Zendaya looked insane. No, bro. She looked great. She looked like Iron Man. I didn't see this. No, she looked incredible. At the Dune premiere, she looked like Iron Man. It's fire. No, I thought this was so fire, I especially like knowing like what Dune's about. Like, But that's Iron Man. No, that's an incredible fit. Hey. Chaps out, too. You can cut this Chaps out. Chaps out is crazy. You can cut this out if you want, but I'm going to say something crazy. What are you going to say that's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say, say you it. can cut this out if you want. Like, just say it. <laughs> Stand on it. One night, but it has to be in the suit. <laughs> Yo. How much you paying? Yo. How much you paying? That's nasty. How much you paying for one this night? This nigga in the suit? said one night, but it has. Yo. What's this your nigga cost wants to be say? a superhero. What's your cost? Say? No, cost. no, 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 no. We're not doing that. <laughs> Yo. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace. Peace. Yo.